but not all tennis shoes are meant for like mileage and, and like walking around all day too. I'm trying to I, I know. I, I, I think it's, it's I think it's hard to grab. It's a flat bottom shoe <laughs> with rubber and cushions. So never try to convince a girl that a sneaker at some point will be uncomfortable because they come from the road of heels and they can just like go in on you about heels when they become uncomfortable. Oh, my feet hurt. <laughs> oh, no. So cool. Sorry. Sorry. We digress. Uh, yeah, we, we, we definitely. Um, so, you know, I... I'd like to believe that everybody who is here hanging out have been a part of the show since day one, but we might have some new folks today. So, you know, just to kind of give you a quick rundown on what on what Connected is. Connected is a show that takes feels like music, film, mm -hmm. radio, live sound, engineering, and we kind of just bring all these folks together and we bring them opportunities such mm -hmm. as our grind ops. Mm -hmm. And culinary. We, and culinary. Can't forget cul culinary, which was just added uh, a couple months ago, and we kind of just, you know, we'd like for you all to think of this as a platform that just consistently connects you all, allows you to communicate with each other, bounce ideas off, and we also, through this process, we mentor, right, mm -hmm. and we kind of share just our experiences. You're, you're in the film industry every day. Every. I'm in the music industry every day, and this is what we do. We, we eat, breathe, grub. Grind. Digest, sleep, dream. Grind. This is what Grub we do. Yes. So being able to share that information and knowledge is, is something we want to make available to you guys. And, you know, we've been able to see an array of resumes and and sizzle reels. And, and music and, like, you do demos. And yeah, music. And, you know, the thing is, I think for us, too, is really stay connected to you guys. And, you know, just allowing you to actually, you know have those conversations mm -hmm. with us and let us see what you got. Let us see your resume. Let us see how we can help cultivate these things and build them for you. Uh, we have a great team. Um, that who's here with us. Who's actually here in the same building with us. You, you don't see them, but they're on the, the, out, the outer strong. workings making sure everything is cool. So, you know, just, and I say that just as a reminder to you guys to stay connected with us, whether it's any kind of any kind of piece art framework you want to you want to show us and, and get our opinions because we have people who are actually looking at these things every day and it actually helps in the process of finding the right job for you because mm -hmm. um, these not the jobs aren't going to everybody I think that's the other thing for those of you that are just joining us right this is not just like Craigslist or it's not public. Uh, 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 knowledge. Yeah, it's right? I, we can actually say it's privilege knowledge because if you, if you uh you know if you're tuning in with us, these are this is the one platform you will be able to experience these opportunities, mm -hmm. such as our jobs. You, like she said, you're not going to find them anywhere. They're mm -hmm. they're strictly for connected uh, viewers, and and that's how we like to keep yeah. it. You know, and I actually think I think it, it makes a better play for you all. Uh, mm -hmm. To know that you're not, you know, you're not competing against, you know, 2,000, 3,000 people yet. Not yet, but it, it could get there really and fast. It's, so. it's really about that Because I want to make sure folks are following us everywhere possible that we are. So go ahead and break them off with, with where they can catch us. Just gonna break it off, like break it off like. So guys, to find us on the social media, which is where we are, you're going to go to at is connected. That's I-Z connected. That's on Facebook, that's on Instagram, that's on the Twitter machine, all across the board at Is Connected. To get us your stuff, you want to send it to connected at rrfedu.com. Again, that's connected at rrfedu.com. You're so pro. You're so pro. <laughs> also, too, um, to check out our website um, is, is, is huge for you guys. You know, we, a lot of times we get folks that have met, have missed several jobs that have been in, in their actual hometown area. So the great thing is if you can get onto our site, you'll be able to see all our jobs that we've offered since day one. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to see all our YouTube. Our video. Also, too, before I forget, let's talk about our Google Play. Oh, and duh. our iTunes podcast because a lot of folks can't get on their computer. Mm -hmm. A lot of them can't get on you know, the web or whatever, but you can always tune in on the Google Play and yes. iTunes podcast. And you want to just catch the audio, you can definitely catch it there. So mm -hmm. that's that's also great to know. So um, uh, make sure you, you also check out our website at www.rrfedu.com slash connected. Mm -hmm. And you'll see everything we got going on. But also to our resource library. Too. Yeah, it's it's massive library for everything we're doing. But 
I want to stress to you guys, make sure you're following us on Instagram because Chloe and I have a lot going on in our day to day. So if you're not following Is Connected on Instagram, you need to do that today. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you five seconds to get on your phone right now and get on Instagram and make sure you hit that follow button on Is Connected. Go ahead, Chloe. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. So by the end of this show, Great. our numbers should be up if, you, if you're really following us, okay? So... Because life is happening. Life is happening. So so last week... I you was weren't a, here! I wasn't here, so I was a little jealous that I didn't get to, like, you know... You missed the champagne, like, Jay. <laughs> you missed it. I'm mad I didn't get to, like, you know, be here at the first new location launch presentation. So I did what I could. I did what I could to share the experience with you, Chloe. You did. You I got did. on my phone, and I was like, you know what? Let me make sure the quality is right. Let me make sure I'm at least somewhere in 7, what is it, 720p or 4K. <laughs> like, I have to kind of just show our connected viewers, like, you know, what I was doing. I want to see what you were doing. So can we cut Can we cut to that video real quick? Check it out. It's me and Tam. Hey, hey, we're headed to the venue with Jam on it. Oh, Lord. Yo, we out here just going over everything, trying to make sure everything's dialed in before we start rocking the show. Set up right here. Out the code. I got my man Terry right here. Set it up, T. Yeah. So we're about to go. This is part of the process, being on stage, making sure everything's dialed in, making sure all the gear is working. And uh, you know, I'm excited, you know. This is, this is what it's about. This is what the, the preparation and the grind lead up to. So that was like a little taste, and and what was great is so we we had a we had a ninety minute set right. Mm -hmm. So I got to Tampa, and me and us we were up all night trying to figure out what songs do we do, what songs do we don't do. And Usher's big thing was he wanted it to feel like a nonstop party. So yes, you know, we had Little John with us, so we're like, well, let's give Little John like fifteen minutes to rock a couple of records he wants to rock. So right before we go on, Lil John gives me the flash drive and I'm getting the music and so I'm like, you know, cool. I'm like, okay, I, we gotta I know we gotta be doing turn down for women. I know we gotta be doing a couple of his classes. So he was like, so we're gonna do to the window, to the wall. So I was like, oh, we're gonna have a great time. And then we went from that right into shots. And it was a little, it, and this was at a champion. This was like the college, like huge championship game. So people were just ready to Feeling party. I mean, they had their okay. drinks. By the way, I totally didn't pack for this trip because, girl, it was like it was like in the thirties in Tampa. No, I was freezing. No, I, don't I was believe freezing, it. and I was like, I'm, I'm gonna get sick. I'm gonna get sick because, dude, my hand, I could not feel my hands, and we had was what it was it was freezing and luckily by the time we go on at night time like we were just like man we just gotta go we, we gotta go for it we're gonna be cold take an extra shot and keep it moving so, yeah so, little you do. so like, adrenaline and now because he's still free. so you have to put it yes tampa You gotta be ready. But we've got our contest. It's all throughout. That's part of it. Sign up at our website, edu.com. There's a whole uh -huh. and Some highlights and sound bites from NFL, MLB, NASCAR, and NHL, etc. Okay, I think, uh, is that our. Mm -hmm. That's it for the details. Mm -hmm. So. Let me see. Let me see if I can actually chime in a little on this grind out. Oh, you're also gonna be running the newsroom during the the night and the, the weekend, weekend shift. shift. 
great. Now that's now that is a great introduction to what I was about to say because uh, a lot of folks aren't familiar with having to work, you know, weekends, especially nighttime shifts. Not uh, both. Let's either. talk about that, right? People are like, oh, I I work nights or I can work weekends, but not nights and weekends. You know, it's crazy. There's so many days I I just can recall that I gave up along my journey, and even now I'm thinking, man, how did I? How did I do it? How, I mean... Was I a slave to this? That, I mean, that, did I like... It was like literally nonstop. Well, because like, you, you have a vision. You have yeah. a vision. You got that that desire. Then you just go after it. You do. You do. So another one uh, one of these details... Um, you so need we, one to two years experience. One to two years experience. And the great thing is, you know, we've been getting grind ups that have kind of asked, like, they, they don't require you to have mm-hmm. any experience, right? I, we get a lovely mix of them, yeah. And, you know, I always like to say, you know, with any grind up, with any job opportunity, it's always good to at least have information under your belt that'll help you navigate and execute these particular grind ups. Yes. So, you know, when you get companies that ask for one or two years of experience, it's, it's best that you do have that. And I think, too, that's a great... A great bridge for us to, mm-hmm. to, to get folks to send in their resumes so we can kind of look at these resumes and help them and help build them out, you know, mm-hmm. and help, you know, maybe put a magnifying glass on certain things that will best suit you know, what it is you offer, right. you know, presentation wise. We'll there's a there's a unique way to tell. I've seen a resume and you know it's like, all right, this is some bullshit. This, this, oh, this, this, cat, yeah. didn't, this cat didn't really like oh, smoke yeah. and mirrors totally. Oh, yeah. And it's usually like, well, I didn't actually like. Mm-hmm. I worked next to the person that. Yep. <laughs> right? uh, 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 <laughs> oh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, right. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> right. Right. Which is fine. Be the second tree to the right. Right. Right, nobody, right. Right. But just also like come correct with stuff because people can research you. Yeah, and these days, like, you ain't fooling nobody. No, like, not with the interweb. Folk, yeah, right. Folks are hip. Folks are hip to all the like nuances of, you know, the little sideline schemes, and so just make sure you're on point. And I think too, just what we do here at Connect, it's a great way for us to cut through all of that and really make sure that the presentation you set forth is really solid. Like how we always say, hashtag overperform, right? Yes. Like don't put it on there if you can't back it up. Don't do it, man. Because the, the, don't do it. The world will find out. Oh wait, wait. This is also a good time to to chime in. What our first um, one of our means, mm-hmm. right? This is our hashtag be seeing you meme team. We want to pop that in. Poor favor. Be um, seeing. Yeah, be seeing you. You like, is connected. Be seeing you. Right, right. Uh, but this is all a part of the the contest that we were talking about. Um, to win a one-hour private consult with us, uh, be seeing you mean. That, that's it. That's it. Simple and quick. Yeah. There you go. Hashtag All, be seeing you. Also, be too, you. Um, make sure you get your Q&A questions or you, you, you get your questions ready for us. jump into that right after our last grind up of the day okay <sighs> so up next we're going to go into grind up number two mm-hmm. grind up number two let me see you can let I me see you let me see you see ya. here we go this is in the field of audio engineering uh, one of the fields that i so happen to work in a no. lot okay here we go high level marketing firm seeks audio engineer to assist audio team in a variety of ways Ensure quality control music for lyrics and content issues. Download various audio files from the FTP or file transferring services. Liaising with labels to get a monthly content set for programming. I love that okay? word. And again, this is in the this is in the field of audio engineer. This is in Costa Mesa, California. Now I know I got a handful of cats who are in this field that yes. are out in Cali mm-hmm. who constantly hit me up all the time. So I want to make sure that if you guys are here with us this morning, which you should be, that you make sure you jump on this opportunity because this is in the field of what you do and what you love. Here's an interesting question because that said to to help with an audio firm in a variety of ways, what would the, some of those ways be? Well, I mean, a lot of it can be, you know, a person who documents audio, catalogs it, 
organizes it mm-hmm. or it can be a person who is capturing the audio who's recording yeah. the audio okay. and then having to like mm-hmm. you know organize it uh and, and put it in its different compartments so it can be a variety of things i mean the great thing is it didn't it didn't state that you needed to have such and such experience no it didn't um, but i will say that you should definitely have some experience in in, in not so much audio engineering but just really you know dealing with companies at that level and working with an array of people um, because that definitely it didn't sound like a one man kind of Mm-mm. no it sounded like a, a collaborative yeah. like sort of experience yeah. as opposed to just like this is your job with no one else yeah exactly you're not operating on, on an island with that one absolutely no, you don't want to be on an island man. no no man it's, it's cool to be on an island when you know with a what you're doing oh sure you know what I'm exactly. saying because you can hold that down you can be like this, hey it's my road over here. But when you're on an island and you're kind of like boo boo the fool and you don't really like, uh, is there anybody, is there a, uh, is there a department, <laughs> is there somebody I could contact? You don't want to be that dude. You don't want to be that dude. <laughs> Good question. There is something about the phrase boo boo the fool. <laughs> you don't want to be Every time I hear it, yeah. I kind of, I, I get all tickled. Yeah. <laughs> Acting like boo boo the fool. Don't be boo boo the fool. <laughs> so again, that was in the field of engineering, and I was in Costa Mesa, California. So we're gonna move on to grind up number three. So I, I hope you guys are moving with us at this pace. I hope you guys are are, are definitely yeah. stand with us. So before we do, we pop into our our, our other meme, our connected um, VR, the virtual reality uh-huh. um, meme, and yep. That's uh that's be, the uh, connected hashtag connected. Look VR. at how cute you look. Look at that smile. It's like, real. Those are teeth. Those are real teeth. <laughs> uh, it, it actually, like, how do you... I, I want to show you how to do it. Can you show me how to do I it? I can show you how to do it. I just need to think about it for a minute. You I need to think about the form. form. Talk about, <laughs> wait, go to, go to the grind off, and I'm going to think about this for a minute. Because okay. it takes a minute for okay. me to get into okay. it. Figure that out. I'm going to go into this grind off. Grind off number three. Here we go. Grind off number three is in the field of... Film. Dig it. So I can't, you're going to have to figure out this later because I'm going to have to let you rock this Great. grind up because this it. is your field. Honey. I can do it. Go for it. All right. So grind up number three is for a film production assistant in Greenwich, Connecticut. Production assistant position to support the production coordinator and supervisor of a film being shot in Connecticut. Managing responsibilities are going to include managing calendars and scheduling meetings, assisting with running of meetings. And qualifications include excellent communication skills, ability to anticipate problems, MAC proficiency, ability to interact with employees at all levels of the company. Hmm. I feel like this grind up is um, kind of like a, a mashup of all the other things that we've said before. Because their qualifications, the qualifications aren't necessarily like one to two years of school or one to two right. years, blah, 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 blah. Right. No, it's basically like uh, know how to talk to people. Mm-hmm. And uh, know how to modify how you speak based on who you're speaking to. Right. You know. Yeah, I like to I like to look at qualifications almost as like how I look at expectations. <laughs> right. Like, Talk about it. You know, there's a couple of things you you, you don't want to miss and you don't want to fall short on. And I think too, this it's how we actually discovered one of our hashtags, which was overperform. Mm-hmm. Right. So. You know, I think too, as you as you digest these details of the grind ops uh, that we present, I mean, I think it's important to, to first ask yourself: Is it is this me? Does, is this something um, I can, I can over-perform get uh, overperform at? You know, a lot of the things we we've, we've talked throughout just the duration of our show is knowing how to talk to people, mm-hmm. how to how to be a team player, how to uh, navigate through the pressures of mm-hmm. you know deadlines. You know, always being on time, being the guy who's there early, being the guy who leaves after everybody. You know, just mm-hmm. those different. What I what I would like to think of as attributes of of yeah. you being on the on the workforce or in the field. It's like there's certain. It's like when I meet folks who let's say want to get into songwriting or producing, I can usually tell within a couple of like moments of just mm-hmm. conversing, like. What components are there? You know, are they really hungry? I can find that out within seconds. Are they hungry? Are they are they the person that just has the 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 mentality of, man, just let me know, I'll be there. Mm-hmm. You know, it ain't about 
well, you know, yeah, I, I'll, I'd love to come check that out. You know, you know, how, how much is it paying? Yes. See, man, once you throw that out at me, I, I can't even really rock with you mm-hmm. at that point. Because I knew for years I showed up without my handout. My my handout was, like, just let me be a sponge. Mm-hmm. Like, throw me in. Before you throw me a check, man, just throw me information. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, yeah. you become that, 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 uh, I don't want to say, like, a, a, a pest or just, you ever see a shark and you always see that little fish? Yep. Like, be that little fish. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's. That's the best way I can describe it. Like, be that little fish. You know, just be there. Yeah. You know. Just and be there. Be there. And I think, too, like, you know, a huge portion of this only works with your application and, and how you apply yourself and, you know, your appetite for for wanting to really pursue your goals, your mm-hmm. dreams, and, and your career. You know, this this is a great platform, what we have here, Chloe. This What we do every Monday is incredible. Mm-hmm. But... What really makes it work is our viewers' ability to really get in there and go, you know, and be and be active. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And be active. So uh, it's one thing to talk about it; it's another thing to be about it. Yeah, and being that you know this line, this last grind up, I mean, is very much what you do day in day out. I mean, you see the different you know characteristics that come through the door every day in this mm-hmm. room you know it, you whether you're the person behind the camera whether you're an extra whether you're an actor mm-hmm. like this it's it's always an environment that is always going to lend itself to more than just you and how you function and flow within that is is crazy right like it's it's no joke and not to mention that also like well much with musicians and, and music and all like that we deal with personalities that are already heightened and of a probably more of a more dramatic bent. <laughs> right, right. Uh, um, <laughs> so to be able to navigate within that world and speak that language is crucial. Right. You know? Um, wait, so before we move into grind dot number four, grind up number four already? I think we're there. We're moving. No, grind up number three. No, we did we're number three, honey. We did we're, number three. We're moving, we're moving. Oh, oh. Well, before then, we should talk about our um our what hashtag. other hashtag? What other incredible hashtag do we do we have along the way? We have our hashtag is connected, which looks a little something like that. Oh, is one man? Two. They got me looking like the Mexican Uncle Sam. Ah! I'm upset. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ooh, stars and stripes. DJ so is good. wants you to watch connected. Yes, I do. I want you to watch connected. Absolutely. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's great. That's great artwork, team. Hashtag is connected. Yeah, thank you. you. Gotta love some Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love some Photoshop. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to do the Did you do it? Can you do it? That's it. It's See, just... I don't even know if I can get my... You gotta sprain your wrist to be able to do that. I just got really <laughs> long arms. I have really long arms and lots of tattoos. Mm, like mm. Like I like your tattoos, man. You got a heart. I do. Thing. I've got eight of them. You got some, some you know, graffiti. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Without any further ado, we're going to move into grind out number four, Chloe. This is Love grind it. out number four. Grind out number four. This is in the field of product managing, okay? So here we go. Product manager... Audio software. This is in Santa Cruz, California. We got mm, two grind ops that are in Cali this week. Mm-hmm. South and north. Mm. I actually, I hope he's tuning in. I have a buddy of mine who sent me, I think I talked about him a couple weeks ago. He actually sent me an amazing resume mm-hmm. and an amazing cover letter. Mm-hmm. And... Like I want, I think this will actually be good for him. So I'm gonna dive into it. So oh. can we get back to my details? I need to see my details, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> Here we go. Top software company seeks candidate to deliver on-time definitions with prioritized products and features. Hold regular planning meetings to continually drive the product roadmap. Experience of relevant software within the music pro audio technology industries. A related industry, expert in music, recording, creation technology, expert in modern computers used for audio production. Wow. That's it's very thorough. very detailed. Let's let's actually leave these I I'd like to leave these details up for just a moment because it's a lot of details in here. And I want to make sure our viewers can either take a screenshot or snapshot this. <laughs> That's how you're gonna get it. Yeah, so 
experience of relevant software within the music pro audio technology industries or related industry, expert in music recording creation technology, expert in modern computers used for audio production. That, I mean, the word expert, that's what jumps out at me. So no, it's like, no, we're not talking about you have to have worked this many years, but they're right. expert right. on several times over. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, too, like, what I what I love about this, too, is, you know, just from the, the product manager managers I've dealt with, I mean, mm -hmm. it's a very fun gig. Oh, yeah. And it lends itself to so many other things. And I think, too, it's important with any with any grind out we see coming our way through Connected, it's always good to be tech savvy anyway. Like, you, let's talk about some of the software programs you need to at least be able to function on. Come like, on now. Uh, Excel. The whole Microsoft Office suite. <laughs> yeah. You got to be able to fly on that. Like, come on. D just as a basic human being in this world nowadays. Yes. yes. Right? Totally I'm not talking good. about however you do it. If, if you're a hunting pecker or if you, I don't care. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is. Hunting pecker. Yo, that's a new hashtag for Connecticut. Hashtag, hashtag hunting Don't pecker. be a hunting pecker. <laughs> 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 don't be a hunting pecker. Don't be a hunting pecker. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, Microsoft Office. Microsoft, yeah. I mean, just being able to navigate on all these different software programs. I mean, I mean, because they didn't say proficient; they said expert. That's expert. I just, <laughs> and you got to be at, you got to at least know how to put a decent email. Telling that company, you know, um, it's, it's super important. I actually last year I talked to a CEO by the name of Scott Goodman, who's a good mm -hmm. friend of mine, who who's the president of a massive company called Zoom. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey man, real quick. When you're hiring folks, what is the first thing you look for? Like, if you got a cat coming to your office who wants a job, what are you looking for? He said, it's very easy. I want to see right, ahead, right offhand if they can spell and if they can write. Guys. So here you might be thinking, you know, what, is it my, you know, my five years here, my four years there, or, you know, how many songs I mixed or how many songs I engineered? No, man. No. No. Can you spell? Can you spell? I, I've, I just want to add something to that. There. There. They are. <laughs> they're all different. They're all different. Yeah. Your like, I'm going there is T-H-E-R-E. -E, yes. Right? They are at the market. That's a contraction for they are. T-H-E-Y. Apostrophe R-E. R-E. Yeah. There, that's possessive. As in, that is their food. This is their studio. Actually, yeah. thank you, team. We have a great team. So, you it's know, those, those all have different meanings. So I think, too, you know, it's it's it, it all ties into what I've been stressing since day one, which is the fundamentals of presentation mm -hmm. in the workplace. You know, all those things, you know, got to be recalibrated, you know, because I've had folks say, good, do you have it's It's, it's all, all of it. it. It's all of it. They all work together, yeah. you know. So, it's just something you should always have, like at the forefront of your mind when you when you're actually pursuing these jobs. Um, it's 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 extremely important. Extremely important. Because it is all of it. It's not just yeah. like pieces of it, right? Not just pieces, man. So, before we move into our next grind up, I'll talk about our our last meme for those of you just joining us. We're doing a contest um, where we are giving away a one hour uh, private consult with. Lee and with is right, and the person that gets the most signups for our show wins, and the uh, winner will be announced January thirtieth on our show. Yes, thank you, team, for popping that in. And um, we can talk about anything. We're talking about just career, music, film, life advice, whatever. You know, maybe we can talk just, about a flowy single. Like can, I'm willing to talk about. We can that. talk. We can talk about it. We can talk about you know allergies too. Because you actually you you had a fan on one of our yeah pro Chloe. He was pro Chloe. Hashtag pro Chloe. <laughs> pro Chloe. Oh, pro come on, Chloe. let's snort. <laughs> let <laughs> your pro Chloe. Um, sorry, we didn't pay for those rights. But yeah. the hashtag, this is my classroom. So they they just popped that uh, that meme up in there. Um, but that's also one of the... Yes, and that's, to, for me, mm -hmm. that's a very important um, hashtag for us because I, I, I always like to highlight what our experience here is with the recording mm -hmm. radio film connection. You know, I was just on the phone the other day and, you know, 
they were asking me, well, you know, what's the experience? You know, is it it's school? Is, and very much of what we do is really geared towards what it looks like in the yeah. real world. Because it is the real world. I'm not pro classroom. I don't I just personally feel like the the information in these books and and the classroom experience is dead for where the culture mm-hmm. of careers and businesses has gone. You know, the books ain't haven't been updated. You mm-hmm. know, they're still pouring the same old stale information into folks and mm-hmm. I just feel like what we do at the connection is in real time. You know, it's real mentors who have worked on projects, who right. have been on set. Right. You know, so... Like, shout out to Doug, who is one of our, like, mentors. Yeah. You know? In an actual studio. In an you know, actual studio. Not a classroom, a studio. Mm-hmm. So, where you're gaining real working hours mm-hmm. that are real life credits. You know what I'm saying? And that's... I always, anytime I get a chance to speak on that, I always always got to make sure we, we really explain in detail and in, in depth what our experience here is. Yes. And the great thing is we have folks who are in our chat who have come from the recording Radio Film Connection who are very excited to tell their experience mm-hmm. about what it was like for them, you know, what the classroom was not like. You know, and, mm-hmm. and also talking about where you were learning in real time, in right? In real time. Even if you were out in the world, where is your classroom? Where are you getting those life lessons um, that will, yes, get you to your next big break, but will also just make you a better person for the world at large? Absolutely. You know I mean? So if this is something that sounds very interesting, very, you know, very different, but in a great way for you, make sure you go to our website because there you'll be able to learn all about what we do in film, radio, live sound, culinary for our aspiring chefs. It's all there for you. And it's not a classroom. That's what's great. It's not a classroom. Not a classroom. Which sounds fun to me. Sounds fun to me. If I don't got to show up to a class, man, come on, man, sign me up. (laughs) So without any further ado, we're going to get into our last grind up of the day. But before we get into keep in mind, we have an additional Six. five jobs, five more jobs on our website. So that puts us at a total of ten jobs, okay? I mean, and th- they're coming from all over this week, too. But you all can only them. get those by going to our website. You can only get those to uh, get those when you go to uh, the Recording Connection, uh, our website. Yes. Keep that in mind, guys. That's five all. additional jobs. There we go. Hey, let it stay in your brain. Okay, let's make it a stain in your brain. Where to go to our website. So here we go. Last grind up of the day for our show is in the field of audio production engineering. This is in Seattle, Washington. Audio engineer candidate will serve as on-site support for live event audio and setup. Strike of the venue between events and support live technical execution. Prompt, thorough, professional communication with team client, and business partners. Technical consultant to event producers and production manager. Scheduling and execution of system training and maintenance operations. That's a lot of detailed information. Mm -hmm. So let's leave that up for a minute so our folks can actually take down these details. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. I mean, prompt, thorough, professional communication, team, client, business, like... And it's sort of on-site support for a lot of It's a lot of syllables in these details. (laughs) So yeah. yeah, definitely make sure you take all that down because that that's that's huge. Um, I mean, I f- the thing that they keep repeating is support for live, support for live. Like you you are doing it in the room, so you need to be on top of your stuff. Yeah, and to me, this particular grind up really mirrors a lot of not so much creativity, but very technical aspects. Yes, maybe being able to fix things, mm-hmm. dial things in, troubleshoot. On and I would say with that particular grind up. You definitely want anywhere from two to three years easy of experience. Unless you're just a prodigy, which you very very well might be. And then it's even possible. still, some on-the-job training is not going to... Because it's all fun and games until shit happens in the room and, and you got to adjust it on the fly. Yeah. Then that is that is when, as you always say, when the tires meet the road. It's when the tires meet the road. And that's why, you know, the great thing, like what we were just talking about, you know, with... You not being in a classroom, you not learning traditionally, a lot of times you'll find that by being in the real world and getting your feet wet a little, kind of you kind of get a heads up on those kind of mm-hmm. situations. You know, you, you, you kind of like, you know, have 
been through one or two of those yes. situations where you got to figure something out yep. really quick, get things moving on the fly, mm -hmm. and just and get and get the ball rolling. And, and you don't have time to necessarily ask a lot of questions. Nothing's wrong with questions. You don't. But you just sometimes have to act and react. Absolutely. And that's, you know, I, even for me, like, just what I'm, what I've been able to do, what I've been able to see. I mean, there's a lot of things that I learned early on in, maybe not as a producer, but maybe being somebody that who was in the room sure. while it was actually happening, was able to see how they maneuvered around certain things, really, which really helped me be able to get, you know, over those kind of like roadblocks that would kind of just randomly fall in. You just never know. I mean, especially, you know, when you're in the technical road, I mean, you got so many variables that, you know, well, you know, something went out, this cable was acting up, oh, the internet's down, yep. you know, you got to be able to, you know, yep. you got to be able to just go, so, which I think leads us to another great part, which is the videos from the School of Hard Knocks School of series that I do, School of Hard Knocks, which we were just talking about, because we talk about the difference between the classroom and just kind of like the real world and what goes on, so... I've done these videos, series of videos, mm -hmm. um, from a sit down that I did, which was pretty much a school in our mm -hmm. school hard knocks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where I'm being asked questions and you know just giving real answers based off of you know my personal experiences. And so we actually have another video we're gonna cut to right now that we'd like to show you. So that, that check this video out from the school of hard knocks. Series. A classroom can't be made into real life, and you can't get a real life experience from a classroom. Because the engagement, the activation is, is a whole different process. Now, if I call you up tomorrow and you're an aspiring engineer and I say, hey, just come sit in on this session. Just get a feel for the vibe and how things kind of get communicated in a creative environment. Just be a part of it. I guarantee you, you will learn more in that one day than you will in two weeks of school. It's just a different application. It's a different experience. And whether it's film or music, you know, it's, it's just one of those things where to me your hours on the clock already start if you're in the room it's not being in the classroom man if i'm in need of an engineer you can't just think that i can handle this job and you know i graduated from this no it doesn't work so that was you know just a quick brief breakdown of, of you know just School of Hard Knocks. School of Hard Knocks. And, and some information just isn't delivered the way it used to be in the classroom. Or, you know, no. And, and I, don't want to, I don't want to stress too much on that, but, it, you know, it, it's, hey, it's from the School of Hard Knocks, you know. Yeah. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. It, I mean, like, we call, or growing up, they would call it um, baptism by fire. Mm. Ouch. Mm -hmm. That sounds painful. Sometimes. <laughs> right? School of Hard Knocks doesn't unhurt. Very true, very true. So Chloe, we are now we are now at the like one of my favorite parts of the show, which oh I always God, say, you. it's our Q and A. <gasps> when we get to talk to folks, like we get to, we get to look at our computer and we get to say, hmm, where are I mean, some cool so questions? Things. There's a lot of questions. So, oh, Corey Mack says, Corey Mack, what um, up, Corey? How do you prepare yourself to stand out with your cover letter? You know what? That's a that's a that's a really great question and it's also a big question because everybody's you know I mean everybody has a different has different experiences mm -hmm. so you know it could be something as you know something as simple as your personality your, char your characteristics what you love to do or you know flip side of that coin could be you know how while you you know uh, excelled at something and you've gone, gone on to grow in this other area mm -hmm. in which you now love to do. So mm -hmm. I think, you know, a good cover letter is also, you know, it's it's great to, to associate with your resume and what, how your resume best speaks about yourself. I do also remember Edwin talking about this when he was here. Shout out to Edwin. Shout out to Edwin. Who makes it all possible. He goes... His grind is to go through the resumes and the cover letters and, mm -hmm. and to help in that regard. Um, and he's also saying uh, to, in a cover letter, talk about how you 
can be of service, right? right. To, to add, finding a way to add that element mm-hmm. to it so that it is, um, it shows how it's a mutually beneficial thing, right? Right. In order to help oneself, oneself. Um, oh, by the by, shout out to Jacinta Mason D, um, Uncle Joe, aka Joey Hire, uh, top 40 mentor in Philly. Uh, and Drake says, uh, watch that video on your Instagram is legit as hell, my man. Oh, man, thank you, man. Shout out to you, bro. Thanks for tuning in. Legit as hell. Uh, also, to all, make sure we shout out Jacinta for her music at the top yes. of the show. Yes. Which also Pleasure brings me to a point. Yes. In closing mm-hmm. for Connected. So we started, we were probably. Mixtape. I've heard a couple records, but I'll do that. Man, I'm saying this. Then I went preppy. Right, right. So now it's. Now I'm just. No deep. Okay. Well, you know. Our, we have moments where our Q and A has been very brief. We mm-hmm. have had other moments where our Q and A is like a long list yeah. of, of, you know, chatting and the whole nine. So, I don't know, Chloe. But is there anything else you want to kind of just? Well, said that we can offer is coming from a place of love because. Emily. You know, to find the strength to do what he did for just mm-hmm. the love and care yeah. of humanity and people. Yeah. You and know, the, and the, the, the epitomizing the fact that, yes, you may fall down, but you get back up. Absolutely. And that is, that's what the grind is, too. Sometimes yeah. you do fall down, but it's, it's all about how you move forward Absolutely. from that. And thank God for him, because he made a lot happen for even my culture. Mm-hmm. Of, Mexican American. I mean, that's what he was able to do. Touch so many cultures. But I know for me, I can, you know, just nothing but love and appreciation for a man like that. Mm -hmm. You know, so definitely shout out to to my man Martin Luther King for doing what he did. Um, We just got a question from Julian Jordan. Uh, He says, as a producer who has seen a lot, for younger producers coming in, do you recommend them standing out or playing it safe and making music like them? You know what? That's a great question, man. I know for me, I always, I always stuck to to making music that moved me. Move. I never chased a record. I never chased just as a of love, passion, and integrity for music steer me. And that's a hard ro- that's a hard road road to follow for some, because you know, people in our industries like to reduplicate success. Every which way they can. So mm-hmm. if something's doing great, we Let's need that. Let's do it that. again. Let's do it again. Mm-hmm. And you know, you don't you don't get a Jimi Hendrix like that. You don't get a James Brown. You don't get a Jim Croce. You don't get a. You just don't get those icons. You know, you gotta let people be who they are. Yes. And you know, that's a that's a great question, Julian. And, and I would suggest, with whatever creator you are, create what feels best to you and what moves people, and stick to that. Mm-hmm. You know, I know for me, when I look back on the records I made and, and my catalog, there's not one song in there that I say, man, why did I do that record? I know I was ch- I know I was trying to sound like, I, I don't have that. And that's I'm, a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing, you know, and it's it's not for the weak. Mm-hmm. You got to be able to endure the, endure the storm, you know. You, you can go get that check or you can stay doing what you love. Living in your truth. Living Live. in your truth. So, yeah, man, don't play it safe, man. Do what you love. Do do what feels good to you all the time. The reward on that is so much greater. I know. And, and I mean, and, and it's the braver road mm-hmm. is that. Uh, happy birthday to Kobe Joe Scott. Happy birthday, Kobe. Happy, happy birthday. Also, too, uh, Michael Cancel, RC grad, says, my Miller Street Studios was my class when I graduated from RFC. Miller Street Studios, located in Chicago, is hosting a musician coalition to help change how networking is done 
all are welcome. Bam. Bam. We need to we need to be tied into that because that's definitely what we're doing as well. Yeah, can we get on the Q and A? Did we hit it? Did we hit all our questions? Girl, we hit it and quit it. Did we hit it and quit it? <laughs> you make me want to go into my James Brown voice. I was about to get up and do my thing. <laughs> did we hit it and quit? <laughs> I was about to get up and do my thing. Well, I think that is uh, I think that is it for today. I mm -hmm. want to remind you guys to stay active. Remember, continue to follow us. Track our day to day on our social media. At is connected. That's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Check out our website. Check out all the grind ops we've been bringing you since day one. We are today was show forty seven. Next week will be show forty eight. We're moving. guys. We're almost to the one year. We're almost to the one year. So don't forget this week we got Nam coming and hang out with us. We'll be hanging out, chilling, playing music, having a good time. Make sure you come hang with us, man. It'll be great. Shout out to our connected team. Oh my word. Oh my oh, word. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Howard. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We got a great team here at Connected, and any opportunity we get to shout them out, that's what we do. So shout out to my man Howie, shout out to Mike, shout out to Leah, Jay, Edwin, Michael, Edwin, Ryan. all the folks that make this possible. Shout out to this beautiful location. We're Doug Bulworth, thank you yes. for Abstract Studios. This is wonderful. Doug, we got to meet one of your um, mentees a couple weeks ago. He was awesome. Uh, his name is Danny. I think we showed that photo last week. We did. We did. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. We so did. Uh, so we all want to wish Chloe good luck today on oh her. My God, you're so sweet. Yeah. Thank you. On your audition. Look. Could you tell us a little about room? it real quick? Um, I'm gonna be playing a skateboarder or like a. Do you skate? I do right now. That's like I didn't tap dance, but I tapped him from the shoes. show. Yeah. Okay. I need some like I have flat bottom boots. These are the boots that I wear all the time. Whoa. You're Yes, right, tattooed right here. <laughs> dance, <laughs> yeah. dance. Um, what were we talking about? Your your audition. Oh, my today. audition. Yeah. So yeah. So um, uh, for Skateboarder, um, it's with the network called Black and Sexy TV. I've worked oh. with them before. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they do some really fun uh, programming. Mm -hmm. uh, and I I I love them over there. So shout out to them. And, cool. And to us. Well, we wish you the best on that. Go go go. Go kill him today, man. Thanks. Go kill him. Which we know Just you don't will. kill myself on a skateboard. Yes, don't do that. We need you here. We don't need you here next week in Ooh, bandages. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Nobody needs a bandage. Yeah. So, on that note, man, it's been great hanging with you guys. I, I, I hope you guys are enjoying the new visuals. The clarity is, I'm sure, is insane. <laughs> um, and on that note, man, I'm your host, DJ Is. It's been a great time hanging here with you. My lovely co-host, Miss Chloe. I couldn't do it without her. Look at those Look at those waves. Like quick hands. <laughs> She's got the crab, the crab hands out. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next Monday movement. You got to get out there and go get it. This does mm -hmm. not happen. Let's hear some music. Whatever you got, you're an aspiring chef.